Welcome to Craft Abilities. My name is Terrell and Patrice is not here today. So today we're going to talk about the HTV Rant and Vavor Auto Heat Press. Now we have a video that came out I think about six weeks ago kind of comparing and contrasting both of them. Well I'm here to give you guys an update so I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright guys so we are going to revisit the differences between the Vavor and the HTV Rant Auto Presses. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Vivor. All right guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the Vivor Auto Press. It's a pretty nice machine. I'm gonna start off with one of the likes. I just like how it looks. And this, I guess this is turquoise, maybe it's green. This is one of Patrice's favorite colors. I don't know why. So I'm sure she likes that about it too. Let's go ahead and fire up the machine. We have a little button right here. It kind of reminds me of the Nest, which is cool. And when you turn it on, the lid opens right up. So some of the things I like about the Vavor is how easy it is to use. It takes about two to three minutes to heat up to the temperature that you want it to heat to. And once you have your shirt on there, you just press this and it closes. I do kind of like the HTV Runt a little bit better because the drawer, once you close it in on auto, it starts pressing. Now having the, the button or you can use up here, is kind of cool but i do like the drawer just a little bit better now that's what i have good to say about the vavor let's talk about the things that i'm not too happy about we're going to start with this pad and i want you to look at my hand i barely put any pressure on it and it moved so what does that do well when you put your shirt on it and you are just trying to get your shirt in place to where you want to print it before you know it your pad moves and then when you're pressing the shirt the image isn't pressed on all the way and you have to do a second press which is very very upsetting so instead of taking 25 seconds to press a dtf now it takes 50 seconds the other thing that i noticed about the vivor is if you look at the plate over here i don't think the plate heats up evenly because sometimes i check when it goes down and it's pressing against the image and still the edges of the DTF still don't heat up. The other thing I don't like about the Vivor is I believe the plate doesn't heat up evenly. So if I put down a DTF transfer, sometimes the edges don't get heated up and uh, you don't have to press it two times. And when I'm pressing 50, 100 shirts, this really kind of throws me off. So one of the things I like about the Vivor is the amount of clearance when I'm putting down my HTV transfers. So I have a lot of space as you can see. What I don't like about it is I have less surface area in terms of length. I wish it was a little longer. I could put a bigger image on and I have a bigger play space to you know play around with. So my final thing to say about the Vivor, and I don't know if it's just this one I have or it's common with all of them. I think there's two or three major problems. First, that slippage on the mat is no good. My heat plate is not heating up evenly. And then finally, this machine really hasn't got that much use. I'm gonna press heat. And we're gonna see the time start counting down. So if you look closely, the display is starting to go. So you see 17 is missing some. If you look at the 14, the 13, the 12, the 11. Now, I know for some of you guys, that's probably not that big of a deal. You can still see what's going on. But we have to remember, this machine is, you know, six, seven months. It probably has no more than 300 shirts pressed on it. If we're starting to have electrical problems on a fairly new machine, that's a big red flag for me. Now, it could just be this one that I have, or, you know, it could be across the board. All right, so we're six weeks in. Let's go ahead and talk about the HTV Runt. Let's go ahead first and power it up. I have it set at 325 for 25 seconds. One of the things that I really like about the HTV Runt is the auto press. So it's this button right here, it's an A. Kind of looks like a recycling sign with an A in the middle. Right now it's on. So this is kind of like a drawer even though it's the press and plate. What I like about it is you put on your shirt and then when you push it in, it just starts pressing. Now for me, I think that saves a lot of time. Even though I'm a little old fashioned and I like the clamp heat presses, this is pr still pretty cool. And you know, it presses and when it's done, it will just lift up automatically. 
as you can see right now. The other thing I like about the HTV Runt is I find the controls fairly easy to use. You want to have your temperature go up or down. If you want the plate to go down and you don't have it on auto. So let's take it off auto. You see I took off auto, it's closed in. I can just press the R. Now the R is blinking red because it's not at the correct temperature, but I'm a rebel, I don't care. So I'm still gonna press. Boom. One of the huge pluses of the HTV Ront is the plate and the pad. So as you can see, I'm kind of like playing with the pad right now. It's not moving. And I didn't realize how big of a deal this was until I did like a hundred shirts on the Vivor. So the fact that the plate doesn't move, it really makes things a lot easier for you. That means there's less shifting. And when there's shifting of the pad down here, sometimes you're gonna have to press two times. Now, as I said before, the temperature has went to 325 and now it's turned green. All right, guys, so let me tell you my final positive thing about the HTV Ront, at least what I believe. All right, guys, let's talk about one last thing that I like about the HTV Ront. I believe when you're sublimating, because the plate comes down, you will have less shifting, and with sublimation, you will have less ghosting on your image or on your shirt, causing you to waste less shirts or whatever you're pressing. Now let's go ahead and move on to my dislikes so i have one really big dislike about this machine and that's the clearance so you can see it's about a, a inch and a half clearance i like to see the neck on my shirt so we have a shirt right here and for me when i'm pressing a image i kind of use the neck and the tag as a guide to where i'm placing the image so i have it down and i'm going to move this a little it's kind of hard to see the neck and the tag. And when I'm averaging, where am I gonna put my decal? It makes it a little difficult. So I have the shirt on here. I'm putting a decal on. When I have the tag, it makes it easier, at least for me, to center where, I'm things, go where things are going. Also, I like to do like my little three finger from the collar so I know where to put my image. I think that is the biggest problem for me with the HTV Ront is just the clearance. If I had a little more clearance on this machine, I would say this thing would be perfect. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and complete this video. If I had to choose which machine now I like to use more or I would purchase, I would go with the HTV Ront. I think it's a solid machine. It does everything it needs to do. My only really big issue with it is the small clearance, but I think the positives outweigh the negatives. As for the Vivor, I still like the Vivor. I like the concept of it. I like everything it has going on, but my big issue is the slippage of the mats, and those mats were giving me a lot of problems. So in conclusion, my pick between the two would be the HTV Runt. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you later. My name is Terrell. Peace.